Hey, hey, Jamil here from NYCR Handlers in Brooklyn. Today, we are going to slipcase a piece. One quick thing to note, before you slipcase anything, it really should be wrapped in some intermediary material, whether it's poly, Tyvek, glassine, whatever. But it should have something on there to protect the piece from the cardboard. Cardboard, you know, it's got a corrugated face on it. It could be a bit abrasive. So to have something in between the two helps a lot. Alrighty, with that being said, let's do it. We have the piece on the material. In this case, material is cardboard. Okay, one thing to take note of, position on the material, the size of the material, the size of the piece. If you take this thing and you stick it way over here and you start getting busy, well, guess what happens here? Now you don't have enough material to fold it over. So try and center it the best you can. You take your blade, you can take the cardboard, and you fold it up, crease that nice little bend, just let you know where you gotta go. You're gonna take your blade without having the blade out. This is the blade out, put the blade away, okay? You're gonna take it right along the edge of that piece, right along that edge. What we are not doing is cutting the cardboard all the way through. Now that we've scored it, see how it just folds up real nice? Alrighty, so you see how that is nice and tight, that corner? It's important to note. Now I have this piece just like that. You can do this two ways. You can just fold it down, or you want to get a nice and clean edge. So you take your blade, and you score it. Push the piece into the corner, fold it on down. Nice 90. When I say 90, I'm talking about a 90 degree angle here. Looking pretty good, right? What you don't want is some of this action where it's just all country like that. We don't do country here. Not at NYCR handlers. The Big Apple. Keep it tight. All right? So now you have that side done. Now you come over here to the other side. You're going to do the exact same thing again. Take your blade out. Score that edge. Pressure down just a little. Fold it up. Same thing here. Down. See how our cardboard overlaps? No matter what you do, that's what you want. All right, you want to cover this whole thing in cardboard. A slip case is a custom cardboard box. So now that you have that, we're now going to score the other sides. That's along this edge and along this edge. All righty, take that blade again. You hear the noise it makes? That's because you're going opposite the grain now. You're going against the corrugated sections of the cardboard. Take your level out. See how I hold that thing up like that? See, we got the blade out now. Now we're cutting. Be careful when you do this too. And you go corner by corner. When you cut cardboard, you don't cut it through like you're cutting a steak, okay? You do a little bit first. Break all those little corrugated sections, fold it down, take that blade, put it in there, and you run it along that edge. Nice, clean sections cut. What you don't want to do is this. It's dangerous. See all that effort I had to put into that? You could cut yourself that way. Additionally, you don't want to do that. It dulls your blade extra quick. When you're cutting cardboard, a little score, open it up, nice and clean and smooth. All right, that's enough about cutting cardboard. Back to slip casing. Now I'm going to come over here and do the exact same thing. Put that level on there. All right, that blade out. Make sure I don't mess this up on camera. Just a score. And you go again. Same thing here. Hold it down. Start. Okay. You notice when I'm cutting the cardboard, I take my blade and I start at the piece and I move the blade away 
start at the piece, move the blade away, who knows the value of this thing? And we don't want to know the value of this thing, but I can tell you it's really expensive. And I want to find out how expensive and neither do you, especially on camera. What you don't want to have is this action. So just make sure when you're using these blades, you're moving them away from the art, okay? Keep yourself safe as well, all right? You don't want to cut yourself while you're doing this either. This side is scored. Now we're going to fold it up. Put your blade away. And the same thing again. See how that folds over? Really well. That's what you're going for when you're doing a slipcase, okay? Anything less than that, you got movement. The whole purpose of these packages is to eliminate movement. If you have a gap like that, the next person that picks this thing up, the piece moves around. When this thing goes on the truck, the piece moves around. If it's a million dollar painting in there, and a million dollar painting is moving around with that eighth inch, you got problems. You got conservation problems. And somebody is gonna have insurance problems. And somebody's gonna be mad. They should have called me. I'm gonna turn this around. We're gonna do it again. that blade away. Now we score it. Nice and tight. Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right, we now have the cardboard scored, cut, pieces down, ready to go, okay? All four corners are pretty much ready to be folded over into place. This is a great opportunity right now to just pause and go over what we're using here. Obviously cardboard and tape, two types of tape. You have paper tape and you have PVC tape. Craft paper tape works really well on cardboard. You take this stuff, it rips really well, and it adheres to this paper surface of the cardboard extremely well. So when I'm making slip cases, I use this type of tape. The PVC tape, it's equally pretty good. It does not adhere as quickly as the paper tape, but it does get the job done. So just note, those two tapes will get you going in the right place. When you're folding these things now, take the short sides and you fold them in first. And then you take the big flaps and you fold those over, okay? Take a little tab of that. You might wonder why I'm not putting tape all the way across this. It's because it's a waste of tape, because it's not necessary for this step. You have that part done, Keep in mind, these just need to be tight enough right now. Its job is just holding these tabs in place, all right? We're gonna fold this piece up and over, all right? Okay, you hear that? Now you tight, all right? You like this, you're not tight. You like that, you tight. That corner is sealed. That thing is ready to go. I'm gonna hold this like that. You get your tape, press it down, rip it. Now that corner is ready to go. You see how that goes in there really nice? That's the corner you're going for. Same thing. That tab on there, see how I'm pulling it down? Rip it. And all that does is just hold this in place for the time being while we do the other side. Same rules apply. Put that tab tape on there, pull it over, break it off. All right, now do the 
same thing over here with this last section. Break it off. Now we're almost there. I mean, like this is, this is good. Get your blade, get rid of this extra material. Only do that if you're comfortable. Because if you're not comfortable, you might cut something that you don't want to cut. See, I'm pulling that down and I'm taking my hand and just put it over that. You want this to look good. So take your blade and break it off like that. Take that tape like that. See, I'm lining that up. See how I take this tape? Get it really good. Get your wrinkles out too. Now we're doing it. We come here, that little tab, we're not worried about that. That's what I'm gonna do. Just gonna trim that down a bit. Same thing, start in the middle, press that down, see how that looks, and just pull that down. See how all this changes as soon as I apply some pressure, you keep doing that. Just work your way from the middle out. Okay, almost done. Now you just wanna cut a couple little tabs for your corners. Always cutting away from the piece. That is a slipcase. Nice, tight, clean. This is what you're looking for. Something on the on the face of it, so you can pick it up, move it around. With that, I want to thank you again for tuning in for another video from the Hard to Be Art Handler series. Uh, keep watching. We got a few more coming at you yet.